was getting ready to do a uh, fuel injection install here and thought I'd shoot a little video on the coolant bottle reposition and the ignition module reposition. It sometimes can be a little bit of a, a pain, maybe more of a pain than it needs to be. So I thought I'd shoot a quick little video just showing some of the some of the things that may make it a little easier, how it goes. I uh, just got done taking clamps off and decided to shoot the video so my clamps are missing. I just slid the hoses back on real quick to uh, show original orientation. Here's the original mounting bracket for the ignition module. So I will do some more disassembly and, and come back and shoot some video when I got some loosened up. These little elbows here, they can be heated. They're Loctited into some threads. They can be heated and uh, twisted out, cleaned up, and re-Loctited in a new orientation for most installations. Here, though, that's not needed. We're just going to unscrew these screws, and we're going to move the elbows around, and uh, you can just re-screw them down without having to... Uh, Reclock those elbows. So I'm gonna get to that. I'll turn the video back on and show how that's done, and uh, also on this ignition module how those brackets are supposed to go. Okay, I got got the coolant hoses off. Got the ignition module loose here. So quick, quick look here of how I took all the screws out of the elbows. Got them ready to go. I marked them for cylinder four, cylinder two. I marked them so we can kind of keep it straight. There's cylinder one, cylinder three. So this bottle, this bottle was set up, you know, about like so. And uh, we need to move it because the the intake plenum is sitting right there kind of in the center so this bottle needs to move out of its way so what we're gonna do we're gonna take the elbow from cylinder four we're going to move it over here to the cylinder two location and then we're gonna take our cylinder two elbow we're gonna move it to the cylinder one location. And then we're gonna take the cylinder one elbow. We're gonna move it to cylinder four location. So we're just gonna do that swap. We'll put our screws all back in and this will be able to position our coolant bottle about right like that. We've got a 90 degree for that cylinder four spot. So I'll go, I'll get the brackets on the ignition module. I'll get the hoses on for the, for uh, the spider. Show that how that goes. The new silicone hoses are a little thicker. The, the wall thickness is thicker. So on these two hoses, you basically have to put this hose on. Well, you have to put that hose on first and then put the clamp on it and then you can slide this hose on and put that clamp on. If you do it any other way you'll understand why it needs to be that way but this hose and clamp has to go on before this one otherwise you're just fighting the uh, thickness of the, the new silicone hose and the clamps and everything so I'll get to work and get that put on. Alright I got the hoses all installed that's about what it looks like. Got the ignition module relocated with those brackets in there. So this is actually a non ring mount style bracket kit. The kit for the ring mount will look slightly different. This bracket will actually have a spacer under it and uh, a little uh, orange anodized bracket. This one will be semi close to the same you will not have this bracket there will be an Adele clamp that actually clamps to the ring mount and screws to that stud there 
and then we reground over all of our grounds right there. Utilize one of the bolts off the elbows. I do realize that some of you guys with older installations are not going to have a, a spider bottle that is oriented exactly like this. So you may have to figure out a different way or these bottles are available. You can update to this bottle if you needed to. That's about what it's supposed to look like. This bend gets a little bit tight, but it does work. I'll show you what I was talking about on these hoses. It just gets a little tight. This clamp here does not want to slide past the hose if you put it on after the fact. I'll show you the crankshaft position sensor. You take the plastic cover off. It comes this hole, this hole, and that hole. So we're utilizing those two locations. Lock tight those screws in. Take the crank bolt off with the locking pin in. The dot on the wheel lines up with the center of the sensor. Tighten that back down. Take the fuel pump off, lock off plate goes right in the same location. So I hope that helps some of you guys with these relocation kits and how, how that's all supposed to fit. So with the intake set in where it needs to go. Now our coolant bottle is out of the way, ignition modules are out of the way. You have room for everything. We'll talk to you guys on the next one.